Hey, what's up guys? It's Adam from Spiritus Systems. And today we're gonna to talk about storing your night vision. So everyone's probably seen something like this. It's a big bulky uh, you know, pouch that comes with your night vision. If you're issued night vision or if you bought them, you might get a case like this. Uh, it's actually a really good pouch. It's well made, um, it's padded, it does what it's supposed to do, right? So if we get a set of night vision and we put it in here, you know, it stores our nods. This is great for shipping nods, you know, in a Pelican case or storing them long term on a shelf or something. But honestly, it's not great for uh, wearing around. And, you know, case in point, if you just look at the size of this thing, I mean, it's just, it's a little, it's a little big. If, I, if you could imagine me wearing this on a, on a plate carrier or something, uh, it's just kind of, it's kind of too big and bulky. So uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, but yeah, it's out there. Would not recommend this for wearing on your kit. So we make a couple of products that make carrying your night vision a little more easy and a little more safe than just uh, stuffing them into a pouch. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is our night vision insert. Uh, this is a custom foam that is molded into uh, a shape. Uh, you can see it has these kind of symmetrical notches and uh, some flaps that basically allows this to, uh, you know, collapse down uh, into, a, into the shape that we want and fit inside of your pouch. Uh, on the back side, we have some Velcro. So this just mounts inside of your pouch. And uh, I'll show you right now with a set of nods here. Basically, the idea is that you cover the outside of the night vision. Uh, with foam and then the backside is to your body. So it looks something like this inside of a pouch, right? So you just have this on there and now your night vision is protected. Uh, so this foam is, is a, it's kind of a blend of impact resistant as well as it's just soft enough that it's not going to put a lot of pressure on, on parts and things like that. Uh, and obviously we branded it with the gigantic wolf so uh, you know that we made it. So our two main pouches that we use for carrying night vision are the small GP and the medium GP and side by side for size comparison. Uh, differences between these pouches, I mean, they're essentially the same uh, in shape and function, but the size, you know, this one's obviously a little smaller and one takes up three columns of Molly and the other takes up four columns of Molly. So the medium takes up four and the small takes up three. So, you know, space on your cummerbund, if you were going to wear this on a cummerbund or a thing two, right? Thing two, you're going to want to pick the GP small because it only takes up three and uh, a play carrier cummerbund, you could do either, but I prefer to use the medium GP and we'll talk about that a little bit about that later. Some notable mentions as well are the CCS pouch. Uh, this is a pouch that we designed specifically for the Mark V uh, chest rig but it also can be worn on a cummerbund or on a back panel or on a pack or something like that. This will fit uh, if you happen to have uh, panos, um, they'll fit into this guy with an insert uh, as well as our wide. Our wide will also fit uh, a set of panos too. So if you do have panos and you're looking for a way to store them, you can easily put our uh, insert in and you can see it's going to cover the majority of the pano and this axis and then on the bottom it'll cover a little bit and on the top it'll cover a little bit. Definitely protect them more than just stuffing them inside of a pouch. So another thing we get asked a lot is like what goggles will fit into what pouch but instead of me just telling you I'm actually just gonna stuff some of them in here. We have a bunch of sets of night vision over here but we're gonna start with the GP small and we're just gonna kind of stuff some in there just to give you a size idea and you can kind of see uh, what it takes to get them inside of there. And we're gonna start with kind of our outlier, which is, uh, this is a Sentinel housing that has an Anvis ball uh, detent mount on it. So this is about as tall as you can get with a goggle. If I kind of put both of these, this is a set of 15s and this is uh, the Sentinels. If I put them kind of side by side, you can see that uh, it is definitely a taller uh, taller mount on there because of that Anvis ball detent. So 
these will not fit into a GP small. So if you have this goggle set, just know it will not fit into a GP small. Now, if we take the Sentinel and we put it into a medium, it will fit into a medium, but it actually still is kind of a tight fit. So you can see I can get this to shut, but it is, uh, it is definitely a tight fit. It deforms the pouch a little bit. So that is the one goggle set that we have found uh, that do not work well inside of either the small or the medium GP. So the next set we're going to talk about is 15s. So 15s, this is completely collapsed. So the both tubes are, are collapsed in. Uh, I can actually drop these right down inside of the GP small, no problem. They fit perfectly in there. It actually, they work really well inside. We actually sized this pouch to make sure that they would fit uh, the 15s. So they fit well in there. Uh, you're not going to be able to fit your NVG mount or anything inside with them, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but if you need a trim package, this fits really well on the Cumberbund, then uh, you know the small will work really well. They also fit you know, into the medium as well, but you could actually fit your night vision mount inside with them. If you're using like a Wilcox uh, G24, you can stick that in next to it. So you can see right there that this has you know, both the goggle and the mount inside of there. On both pouches, you're also gonna have uh, storage on the front for batteries. So you can just store batteries in the front here. So 15s fit well inside both. Uh, we have DTNVSs from Acton Black. So again, stuff these guys down in there. It's kind of the same story as the 15s. They fit just fine. You can zip this guy all the way closed. Again, it fits, no big deal. Not gonna be able to store your mount inside uh, with these either, but if you do upgrade to a medium, again, you have that space on the side where you can easily store a mount inside of the uh, pouch with the night vision. PVS-14, uh, the most prolific night vision device probably ever made. Uh, this thing is a workhorse and I actually really enjoy this uh, monocular. This will fit inside the small and you can fit your mount in it as well. So that's something kind of cool. If you're issued a PVS-14, you know, a lot of the, the conventional force in the Army is still issued 14s. This is a great option to safely stow your night vision so they're not getting broken on an operation. Again, uh, this will fit in the medium, of course, and you'll just have extra space as well. So if you wanted to carry your night vision plus some other equipment, it would fit all fit inside there. Uh, 31s, again, pretty prolific night vision goggle. These fit inside a small. Now something to note with the 31s is that they are a little taller, just how they're, just how they're made, just how God made them. They're a little bit taller and they, uh, they, you will feel a little bit of pressure on here, uh, but they will fit inside the small. But again, I personally, with 31s, if I'm using 31s, I prefer to use a medium uh, with them. And the reason being is that I can actually spread the tubes out a little bit and I can make the goggle lie a little flatter. And that just takes some of that pressure off of the mount and just, you know, I feel a little more secure with them being spread. I can still uh, store my mount inside as well. Uh, so there's plenty of room in there to be able to store the mount and the 31. So again, that's the medium GP, although it does fit in both. I just prefer that. Another outlier we have, not issued quite as much, but there might still be guys out there with these. So I wanted to include them in the video. Uh, <laughs> they're not gonna fit in the small. Um, that's pretty, it's pretty tight. Like you're not gonna be able to, to get these no matter how much you struggle with it. You're just not gonna get it to fit into the small. Uh, in the medium, you can get it to fit inside here, but it is a little tighter. And you're gonna have a little bit, the very top 
I put them with the lenses down. Uh, you can see that it's, it's a little bit of a, a stretch on the top, but it is padded and protected. So it does work in the GP medium, which is what I would recommend for them. Because this is a, it's a mono up front, uh, you can still fit your mount in there as well with these. So something else I wanted to talk about is all of our pouches have tie down loops built into them so that you can clip in and you should be tying your night vision down. But basically I can clip into this tie down loop using, uh, this is just a little S beaner and I can secure my night vision to the pouch, which is then secured to my body. That way you are never uh, losing your night vision. If they fall out of your pouch, they're just going to hang. Uh, if you, you know, left it unzipped or something, you're never, you're never ever going to lose them. And uh, more so when we're talking about the, the theory behind these pouches and storing your night vision on your body. If you store your night vision in a pack or you keep it somewhere else, then maybe this doesn't really matter to you. But I personally always want to have my night vision attached to my chest rig or my plate carrier, always with me, always with my gear. I consider it essential gear. That's why I tie it down and I want to keep it safe. My favorite uh, position is wearing this on my cummerbund, uh, usually on my left side, and I keep it under my arm, right? And that again, that's just another way to protect the night vision devices. If they're underneath my arm, that means if I bang up against a wall or something, it's not taking a direct impact. Uh, and if, uh, if I have to dive into the prone, they're not on the front of my body, they're not getting crushed. Uh, and if I'm in a vehicle, they're definitely not on my back, just like supporting my body weight the whole time. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's pouches that we offer. That's our insert. Uh, that's the different breakdown of night vision and, and where they fit. Uh, so yeah, just thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.